Hello everyone, PallyTuff here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy. I said I was going to wait a couple days before I recorded again, but here we are. I think I started recording at about 9 in the morning. It's 5.30 now, and I, I, had, to, I had to come back. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> uh, so, I hope you guys liked the first few episodes. I'm going to keep playing. Uh, I did do a run without recording just to, just to warm up, just to get back into the swing of things. Uh, so we did have a dwarf. That dwarf has passed. We are now playing as, not this, woo, a wrong button. Uh, we are now playing as Sir Octave. Uh, he's an archmage, so he can cycle spells. And there are all of his stats, if you want to see him. Uh, actually didn't know I could do that. So, uh, maybe that was helpful to someone. We have a unique ability that we've never encountered before. A unique spell that goes by the name of... Time Stop. Look at that, dude. Look at that, my dude! So, we are able to freeze time and still interact with the world around us. Now, of course, there is a pretty hefty mana cost associated with that. So we're not able to do that all the time. Also, Dwarf Passage right here. Ugh. Oh, do we have IBS? Uh, do I have it? Okay, we can use the scythe in this room. Uh, what? What? All right, now we're fine. Wow, that was a pretty effective clear. Holy crap. The scythe is pretty good, bruh. I couldn't even see that eyeball up at the top right. I didn't know he was there. Let's kill the one on the left. We get mana back every time we kill something. Six mana. Um, there are these runes, by the way, called siphon runes. And what those let us do is get more mana back when we kill something. So, if we're able to find any of those, those likely come from the challenges, like this one, take no damage. I'm gonna blame that on the controller. Cause I moved left, bruh. I didn't move right at all, bruh. I didn't do it. Uh, so the more of those challenges we complete, the more runes we're gonna get. Hopefully we start to knock a few of those out. What I would like to accomplish in today's video, if at all possible, at the very least, I would like to explore more of the forest. Best case scenario, we take down the forest boss. Are we gonna do it in this run? Uh, maybe, you yeah. know? Oh no. Are we gonna do it in this run? Ouch! Probably fucking not. Cause I keep fucking taking damage. Where was the skill that I was showing earlier? Where was the butt slam skill, dude? I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna try. Of course, we know the forest is located off to the right hand side. So if we just keep making our way over it. Whoa. If we keep making our way over there, we'll find it eventually. Do I freeze here, dude? Oh my goodness. No, we're okay. We're okay. You know what? Let's, uh... All right. All right, get that swing out of here, bruh. I have a feeling I'm going to use a lot of my mana on time stops, and then when we get to the boss, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Let's dip out of that room, because I can't get the... I can't get the chest anyway. It's another one of those dwarven-only chests. I'm not sick of those yet. Oh god, there's a zombie underneath. Ah! Oh! Well, at least you got to see a new spell. Not the best start, I will admit. How do we do on money? Archmage with the spell blade. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Balls is beautiful or can't see 3D? <laughs> Balls is beautiful, dude. Bald is beautiful. I kind of like that as a better starting skill anyway. 715 gold is kind of on the low side. Uh, let's, let's be honest with ourselves on that. I did go ahead and buy the upgraded miner so it can turn on a headlamp. I don't really know what that does, to be totally honest with you. <laughs> but at least we have it. I'm going to up my health a little bit more. I'm thinking maybe a 2 to 1 ratio. Uh, our focus this time is on playing mages, playing spellcasters. Every other time I've beaten Rogue Legacy, it was always focused on physical damage. I would get, um, bar I would farm with barbarians in the early game. In the late game, I would swap over to assassins because their critical hit damage is just out of control. 
and that's how I would accomplish pretty much all the tasks I needed to accomplish inside of this game. Uh, this time, ah, I think it's close enough. This time, we're trying to be of more of a magical persuasion. I see you there, little painting. So, if we can uh, kill most stuff with spells, I'll be very happy. The scythe spell's very, very good. Um, but there are other magic classes to unlock in the manor, that little talent area. Uh, I'm just not too sure how to actually unlock them. I don't remember where they're at, so I'm doing my best to find them. But, you know, slow and steady. There is a chest at the bottom of this room. I don't think we're going to get too many more... I don't think we're gonna get too many more. Oh. Fuck! Okay, just wait for the second one. Okay. Beautiful. All right, that was fine. That was fine. I don't think we're gonna get too many more blacksmith planes. Uh, so, we're going to... I mean, I, like I said, I kind of want to go to the forest. But this has been a pretty easy clear so far, other than that scary room. So, if we can get... Wow, our spell one-shots everything. Scythes are very good. What? And it's really not spending that much mana, all things considered, when we get six back after every kill. That's pretty... Like, I don't want to mess with that guy zooming around, so we'll just take him out, dude. We'll just take him out! Cool. Yeah, let's try to maintain that. That's the play style I want to go for. I think it'll be fun. Now, like, how do I balance getting to bosses and... Ha Ooh, beefy boy over here. How do I balance getting to bosses and making sure that we have enough mana to fight said bosses? I don't know. We'll have to cross that road when we get there. The scythe would be excellent, though. Just phenomenal. Really, really good for fighting off the boss in the forest. I don't want to spoil anything about it. Just in case you haven't seen it before, we did not walk in and encounter it, so I don't, I don't want to ruin it for you. Uh, but uh, just tr just trust me. It'd be very, very good. We're already up to 880 gold so far. This run is going great. Who's this character? This is Sir Kenny. Yeah, Sir Kenny's doing great. Bald is beautiful, dude. What? No, thank you. No, thank you. Bah. Bah. All right, I gotta try to bank a little bit of mana here, I think. Well, not right here, probably. Let's take that guy out. We can kill his mage. We have very low strength, and we haven't skilled up for it at all either. So uh, our actual ability to physically defeat enemies with our sword as we're playing an archmage is pretty low. I haven't looked at any of our other abilities, though. We have the sword, and we have the fire around us. I was just kind of killing everything with the scythe, and it was going great. Okay, how do we want to do this? Oh, I looked the wrong way. Yeah, I'm blaming that on my controller. Next run we do, we'll swap out controllers. I think as it's... Yeah, look at that. If I flick it too hard, it rebounds the other direction. Yeah, we can't have that, dude. I think there's a way to tighten these somehow. Okay. Okay, downwards we go. We're not going to dwell on the controller. We have to overcome the obstacles that are set before us. If I don't flick the stick, maybe a steady hand is going to be key. All right. Well, this leads down to the basement, which is not where we're trying to go. Unless there's a chest in that room, which there is not. So let's push off to the right side here. 1,199 gold so far. In order to get the next gold update, the next gold upgrade uh, from the miners. So, I don't know if you guys noticed. Uh, okay, so it's not a picture that moves. Fuck. We're okay. Beautiful. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when we pick up gold now, we're getting 11 gold rather than the 10 that we were previously getting. And that is simply because we got that minor upgrade. Those little spelunkers, dude, they're gonna do it. Excuse me, sir. Whoop! Ah, I really thought the, the upward projectile was gonna catch that guy. I was a little off. So, I mean, we've been pushing through this using spells pretty liberally, I think. 
And we've only effectively lost 100 mana when we get this potion here. It'll be even less than that. Uh, so let's try to keep that... Uh, oh, 37 damage on that hit. Oof! We don't have a lot of HP to spare. Especially not for no 37 damage from one hit. Hello? I don't know what I can do with this guy. Does he charge at me or anything? Oh, he knocks me back if I hit him. Okay. Well, not so much of a problem when we're not really using our sword a ton. Uh, I'm going to try to get a little bit of mana off of these guys. When they come to the edge, they kind of pause. So relatively easy to take down there. There's a chest above us on the map that we want to make our way towards. If we can. Another horse. That one's a little more dangerous. We're going to leave that one there, I think. 1,639 so far. The 3,700 that we need. Feeling a little far off at this point. I, I gotta be honest. Unless we do something really cool. I mean, we could always kill the boss, huh? Ooh, projectile. I had to stop showing off my skill. There we go. Look at that. The pogo stick, dude. That guy is defenseless to the pogo stick. Come here. Beautiful. Don't get hit. Beautiful. Pogo stick. That's so satisfying. I feel like last time we played this game, I wasn't really able to do that. I've grown as a person since then, I guess. This would be a phenomenal room to have time stop in. But we don't even need it! A vault rune for the chest piece. I don't really know what that does, but now we have it. 37 damage on the way down hurts. The next hit kills us. Okay, so we're going to take these guys a little more seriously. Uh, just kill the one, maybe. Ooh, shit! The middle of their projectiles hits the ceiling. So, oh god, so that's not going to work. I was thinking if we stay directly under one of those, we might actually be safe. Um, how much damage do they take? They're very hard to hit. 55. Woo! Fuck no! We're going to let them live. Not doing that, bud. Oh, these guys should give us a lot of mana back, too. Or was that only six? No, I guess it was 12, because there was two. I was stupid. Okay. Bones are fucking flying, and we are dying. Not a bad run for a little Archmage. He killed a lot of stuff there. Proud of him. Very proud of him. Oh! Oh, it's not a Spelunker. It's a Spelunkette. Well, we haven't shown a Spelunker off yet. Um, let us buy a little bit more health here, I think. Beautiful. Can we buy anything else? No, we cannot. We might be able to craft something. Or alternatively... Can we make this? Oh, just short. Just 20 gold short. That sucks. Can we craft? I mean, I might... Ooh, the blood sword. Hello. Yes, please. Can't equip it because it's too heavy, but now we have it. Okay. So, I don't... <laughs> Does turning on the headlamp do anything? So, with the Spelunker, I believe we get more money. And as you can see on the map, we could see all of the treasure chests. There's no guessing. I don't know what turning the light on does. Now, the Spelunker... Oh my fucking god! Is, ah, is pretty weak. All things considered. And we're a giant, uh, which does not really help us at all with dodging projectiles. Maybe this was a mistake. Uh, but you ideally want to avoid as much combat as you can chest on the far side of this room. So that's what we're going to try to do. Now, unfortunately, because we're a giant, projectiles hit us a lot easier. Ah. And traps are harder to dodge because your character takes up more space. I gotta say, based on my performance so far, I don't have a lot of faith in my ability to actually do this. But we're gonna keep trying. I just have to make up like 70 HP. What could go? Oh, we got a journal. <clears throat> journal entry three. I have paid my dues and entered the castle proper. The devil Sharon has taken all that I owe in his payment. 
He has even pilfered my private coffers. I have left my wife and children with nothing. He says it's the price for any and all who has at the depths of the castle. He says it's fair. It's fair of all who have entered, none have returned. But I will change that. I will be victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my siblings. So these are journals from other people that have entered the castle. I've always, in uh, I've, I've always um, interpreted it as being your family. I mean, I don't know if it is for sure, because I don't remember. Ah! Oh my God, our miners sucked. All right, two mediocre runs in a row. Give me an air. Give me a good one. I don't know. Do we try another spelunker? You remember things with extreme clarity. What does that mean? Did the spelunker get more gold per pickup? I wasn't really watching that. You remember things with extreme clarity. Is well, the the ability to see stuff is. I'm gonna keep my headlamp on. The ability to see stuff is just from being a spelunker in general. Oh. I also had some muscle spasms. Oh, we get 14 gold per pickup. That's actually a huge difference. Okay, so. We'll... Oh. I can see where the enemies on the map are. Wow. That's good. Okay, so we'll take this run slow. We're aiming for three and a half thousand so we can buy the gold upgrade. Oh Lord. Okay. <clears throat> Journal entry four. Everything about the castle is off. I can't seem to keep track of my headings and there's no sun or stars to guide me. I find myself backtracking constantly and I must painstakingly map out my progress lest I go in circles. The map I have pilfered off the corpses of other adventurers is breathtakingly inaccurate. It is almost as if they're describing a different castle altogether. Perhaps this place does something to the mind. Or are the stones truly shifting beneath my feet? Wait a minute. Is there a chest to the left? Uh, it's probably just another room. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. This is fine. When they come to the wall, we'll kill them. We do have the chakram. Which should be pretty good. Yes. At clearing out a decent portion of enemies. It travels through walls like that, which is very, very nice. So we're up to 400 gold and we're just getting started. 602. What is that chest, dude? There's no place to move through the wall anywhere. Right? I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. Hopefully I'm not leaving something too good. I'm gonna head to the right. It looks like the boss room is to the right as well. But now one good thing is like our magic damage does does scale on this character too. Like so we are hitting hard with spells. The issue being that unlike playing as a mage, we don't get mana back when we kill something. So, like we do kind of have to use those spells sparingly. Kind of similar to how we play barbarian. Like our barbarian when when they get a good spell, they can they can ruin so they can ruin someone's day. But I mean, they're not gonna have good spells available to them all the time. Okay, we're gonna shoot this this way. That was pretty smooth. Hey, bud, stop throwing, stop throwing. Just wait here. He can't travel through. Beautiful. Fourteen gold per coin. One thousand one hundred and sixty. 
None of that, dude. None of that. I think this is all because I have the headlamp on. I think the... I think the headlamp is out. Is really helping me. Now, of course, we still we still do get the healing from the blood set, of which we only have the cape on right now. If we don't make enough, if we don't make enough for the shit. All right, there's a chest in here. If we don't make enough for the next spelunker upgrade. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna get the uh, armor capacity increase. So at least. Fuck, I need to get out of here. I'm taking damage. And I can't get anything else. Uh, for the. I'm gonna get the armor for the ca the armor capacity, the carry weight. Uh, because I want to be able to equip that blood set. That'd be really good. Alright, looks like we gotta climb out of here. No problem, no problem. A few enemies still located further up ahead, but we're taking them out pretty well so far. The eyeball dies in one swing. I was talking about it before, but once you get to the point where you're like really killing stuff in one hit, progress becomes so much cleaner, dude. So much cleaner. We're about halfway to our goal, aren't we? Ooh, ouch. Aren't we? Pretty close. Oh no, taking a lot of damage in here though. Oh, still taking damage. It's okay. We got a little bit of food. Both of those guys die in one swing. No other enemies left in this room, but we do have a challenge chest to the right. Hopefully it's taking no damage. Oh, I am not defeating all the enemies in the basement. No. That is not a good idea. That is not how you come out of this successful. However... Wow, the basement is... Oh, we even know where the boss is for the basement. Um, We got a lot of chests above us we can grab. A lot of chests above us that we can grab for free. That'll be good. You know, there's a carnival event that happens in this castle. Uh, I guess it can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be in this first area. But I, I think that's where I've usually seen it. Uh, there's a little carnival event that we have not encountered yet. Went to cast a spell don't have the mana to do it unfortunately so yeah my I, one of my negative effects is the muscle spasms i don't think there's a visual representation on the screen from that but my controller vibrates every now and then so i guess it's just mildly distracting it's not um ooh the forest it's not like Super, ooh, that's not good. Uh, this might be where our run ends. Oh, okay, let's see what this is. It's probably just a teleport, huh? Oh God. <laughs> Channel entry for I cannot exit through the front gate, but that is of little concern. I am committed to my cause, and I will not back down. So far, none of the maps I've found coincide with my own. Yet upon comparing them as a whole, I believe I have unearthed a slight pattern. It seems the forest is always to the right. The tower above, I call it the attic, and in the basement. And below, well, hopefully I won't have to find out. Dub, dude. Oh, a little bit of health. A little bit of health. We're about a thousand gold off from the quest. Do we want to try to clear this? I think so far it's looking like we can. Whatever's above us isn't moving. Oh, it's two eyes. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, and poison above, so I could stand here. Nice, nailed it, dude. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Okay, I'm starting to get nervous about our progress. I'm gonna rush this. Dude, there is a chest back as well. 
I want to go for the chest. We just got to make sure we're doing it smart. Okay. Pretty good kills, though. For a miner, dude. For a spelunker. Very happy with that. We have a paladin with a dart. A pa or a barbarian with a dart. Paladin with the chakram. Or a miner with the scythe. Uh, I'll probably go paladin. We will grab three armor upgrades if I can. Beautiful. And then we can equip the blood sword. To get health back. Now, once again, we're losing maximum health in order to do that. But I think we get four health back per enemy kill now. All right, I'm going to beeline it over to the forest. I'll meet you guys over there for this one. We're not going to be exploring. We're going to head straight there. We might try to take on the boss with this setup. Oh, I think this is a full heal. I found this on the way to the right. Nice. Obviously not going to touch it now, but we might come back there for that. All right, we hit the forest. We got a Geomancer right up, two Geomancers out of the gate. An eyeball and a dog. Or a, a pony, excuse me. Okay, so the Geomancers kind of channel underneath a section of the ground. Why are you stuck? What are you doing? Um, they channel under a section on the ground. And then... spawn like this giant pillar and that pillar deals damage to us as you may have just found out good dash is there that looks smooth now as far as which mages i think we should kill first uh the fire mage is a lot harder to dodge than the geos but in a room where we have this much open area neither of them should be that bad uh he says as he takes damage from all of them we're getting four health back from every kill so as long as we play, you know, relatively safe, we can fill up our HP, no problem. Oh, look at Mr. Marksman over here. <laughs> Get a load of this guy, fuck. All right, back in the castle, we'll grab that health. Let's remember where that full restore was, just in case we need it. We kill him with spells if we can. Probably worth. Nah, he got close enough. It was fine. Hmm. Do we even need to climb this room? Is it worth it? No jumping. I can't do that. I'll try. No, it won't work. It won't work. Not even. Uh, we would just take damage. I'm going for the boss. I don't want to take damage, bruh. I don't want to take damage, bruh. All right, little poison guy. Wow, it's weird not using my 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 magic a lot, but it's still like one shots these guys. The dagger is just, I don't know if we've really used it before. It just travels in a straight line. Uh, so you can do a pretty hefty amount of damage with it. That wasn't too shabby. There has to be something in these rooms. We keep encountering them. Uh, the little vines from the top of the screen, they can spawn globes. They can spawn health. I don't know what a globe is in this game. I guess I meant mana potions. All right, one down. Oh, gosh. Okay. Two down. Not a lot of money this run, but I did kind of just beeline it through the castle. The forest seems pretty split up this time. Oh no, you're not gonna hit me with that today, but ouch, okay, just hit me with your face, I guess. But he didn't hit me with the fucking, with the, with the spire. Hey, it's carnival. This guy always creeped me the fuck out. Uh, okay. I'm ready, dude. Let's go. Oh, I gotta talk to him. Hello. 
Hi there! Care to test your dexterity? You only get one shot, but it's free of charge. If you succeed, I'll give you a nice reward. Oh man, I'm gonna be really bad at this. Okay. Whoop. Yep. Yep, very bad at it. Yep, very... One. Two. Ooh, 20 gold, not bad. Oh. 30 gold? I have four more knives, we're not gonna do it. That's pretty good though. Okay, 50 gold, not bad. <gasps> oh, you couldn't even hit eight targets? <laughs> Good luck with the rest of the castle. Right, well, thank you, Mr. Carnival Man. Yo, for a first try, since we started playing this game again, honestly, I felt like, yes, I felt like that was pretty good. We found the boss. We're gonna try the boss, dude. Full health. Mana sucks. What's over here? Oh, a chest. Hey. Don't mind if I do. And another one at the bottom. Hey. Thank you. Wait. Okay, some of these have something special at the top. Some of these are just towers of stuff. We're actually getting more mana back! Not too shabby, my dude. If we were a giant, this would be a room we take guaranteed damage in. Wouldn't that suck? I don't know, dude. Did we check out this other area? I kind of don't want to take damage before the boss. We're at full health, but... I mean, that wasn't hard. Defeat all enemies. These can definitely be challenging. I haven't seen anything I'm too afraid of so far. Oh, is it under? Come to me, little skeleton. We're just taking this nice and slow, dude. Nice and slow, dude. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to be afraid of. Whoop. Didn't see that trap. That's okay. I think, like, we're almost done. Oh, we're only halfway through the room. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Actually, yeah, we're almost done. So we gotta beat this guy up, which is gonna be a little bit of a pain. I see my controller turning me around there again. Wait, if he kicks me out of this room, do, do, does everything reset? That would suck. <laughs> oh, that would really suck. All right, back up to the top. There was one more knight. We'll just let him kick us over to this platform. We'll go back. We could pogo stick on their on their heads. Uh, however, not a lot of head clearance there. Not a lot of jumping. Not a lot of jumping space. So we are not doing that. Woo! Good run. Grace rune for the chest piece. Let's gobble up this gold, dude. We're at twenty eight hundred right now. Do we just go for the three? Three and a half thousand? Ooh, don't overdo it. Don't over. Woo! All right, there, little wolf. Fuck. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I just lost half my health bar. Oh, we're just two hundred off, though. We're just two hundred off. We definitely go for it. We definitely go for it. Middle first. And dog. Okay. Dude, I think we're like less than. Ah! I'm getting nervous. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, good. Good dagger. Good dagger. This is one of the few instances where I actually just wanted gold. I think we can buy the next gold upgrade. I think every gold piece we pick up is going to be 12 now. I think. I'm not 100%. We need to try to secure that. We need to try to make sure. Let's check this little room to the left. Give me some money, dude. Oh, one hit, we're done. One hit, we're done. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Holy shit. Dude, Sir Scorpio with the run, dude. He had the run, dude. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, I'm so, so pleased with that. So pleased with that. I kind of hate all these guys, but we'll go for that one. And at the bottom right, gold gain up. We did it. Now we get 12 gold per coin. The next one's 5,700. Oof, that feels he hefty. Sorry we didn't fight the, the jungle boss. I mean, that was the plan. But when life gives you lemons, fuck the lemons. Don't, oh, don't do that. Da, da, that was bad advice. I, I, I forgot how that goes. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> See you guys next time. Okay, bye.